Jason, this is uh, our school, ILFC. Hi, I'm Radhika. Hi, I'm Pooja. I teach French at ILFC. Yeah, yeah, not Learning here. Um, I'm taking my TESOL course, trying uh -huh. to learn how to teach ESL. Okay. Yeah, the teacher training program. That's the class that I teach. Aha, uh -huh, yes. So, oh, and here on the class. From Kerala or? No, Chennai. From Chennai, from Tamil Nadu. And you? Uh, I'm from the northeastern part of India. Okay, from where? Manipur. From Manipur, okay, yeah. And you? From Delhi itself, yeah. From, and you too? My God. Okay. <laughs> and you all are preparing to be teachers? Yes. yes. Right. Oh, yeah. A good group. Oh, your name? Uh, I'm Madhurin. Mm -hmm. And I'm standing here. And we are learning English? Yeah. Like second language? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you? I'm Marina. I'm from Russia. I'm uh, learning English too. Also, very good. And how long have you been in India? Um, I have been in India for three weeks. Three weeks. So you came especially to learn English? Repeat, please. <laughs> you came to India yes. to learn English? Yes. Very good. And do you like the experience? Yes. <laughs> I'm very like it. It's interesting, the country? Nice. And that's Divya, she's the teacher. Hi. So, hi. <laughs> Hello, I'm from Afghanistan, and I'm also came to learn English. Very good. Thank you. And how do you like India? It's good. In the big country, it's interesting. And how long have you been here? Um, one month ago. One month. Very good. Okay. Thank you very much. And Marwan. Marwan, yeah. yeah. They're actually brother and sister. And how long have you been in India? Six months. Six months? Oh, and you learn English here. Are you happy? <laughs> Very good. You are also a teacher? Yes, I teach English. So you teach also English? English, yes. Very good. And this is Asuka. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Where are you from? Oh, I'm from Japan. From Japan. And you came here to learn English? Yes. And, oh. and traveling to India. Oh, and travel to India. That is a nice experience, isn't it? <laughs> Good. Thank you. From Russia. Ah, you are from Russia? And you have a one-to-one -one lesson? Absolutely. This is a private class. Okay. One -to -one. Very good. And how long have you been here? Uh, already one month. Oh, one month. Okay. And do you like the India experience? Uh, yes, actually I like it. Very nice. Um, we have currently students from quite a few countries. Um, Japan is uh, one of the big countries that sends us students. There's uh, five Japanese students here now. Uh, Afghanistan as well is pretty big. We have some Russian students, South Korean students. Uh, there's an Iranian woman who is studying here. Uh, in, this, in January, we have a girl from Colombia coming, three Japanese coming. So yeah, it's a, quite a, an eclectic mix. Most classes have at least one or two international student in the mix. Um, I'd say probably 70% of our students, 65 to 70% is uh, Indian, and then 30 to 40 is uh, international. The internationals are growing though, especially during the winter and the fall, the weather is a lot nicer. Mm. Uh, so that's uh, a really uh, a nice thing for the school to have. And you provide some excursions yeah. or some sightseeing? Yeah, definitely. Things. Actually, I'll get our activity calendar. I'll show you what mm -hmm. we do every month. Actually, if you want to come with me. Yes. <clears throat> activity calendar. Uh, last month we had a trip to the Taj Mahal, uh, we had a trip to uh, a market, a bazaar, to look at some Indian crafts. This month, um, this week actually, we have a free Hindi class. So every month, um, students who don't speak Hindi, they can take a free class uh, with Divya and she teaches them all the basic words and phrases needed. In, in, in Hindi, which is great because if you live in India, you, English is spoken everywhere. It's really very widely used, but it's good to have a little bit of Hindi. So this is coming up. Uh, you tell them, you know, it's a great place to visit. You'll have an experience of a lifetime, but, you know, 
come with an open mind. They share the apartment? It's a three bedroom apartment, um, so there's a nice common area, a beautiful balcony, there's a park in front of the apartment as well. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice accommodation for students. Um, probably the more popular programs with international students are specialty programs. Of course, we're a bit of a small center, uh, but we do have some connections with local training centers around Delhi, close to the school. For yoga, we have a center that we work with that teaches yoga. Uh, even courses to become yoga instructors, uh, we're able to um, get good discounts on. Um, Indian dance, Indian traditional dance, there's a girl from Japan who's coming over to, uh, to, to enroll in this dance uh, class with this, of course, Indian professional uh, dancer. Um, Air, uh, Ayurvedic medicine as well is another area which we can um, help students get set up with co uh, programs and courses and even vegetarian cooking classes. Mm -hmm. There's lots of centers. Delhi is known for its educational uh, institutions. Everybody from India and from Asia for that matter come here to study because there are so many centers all over the place. And our location in South Delhi is very central. It's pretty easy to, um, to get to these different areas. So that's an, an excellent option for students if they want to take a yoga course from an actual Indian yogi here in Delhi. So that's also a connection. Yeah, it's about a one minute walk. Oh, that's great. So it's a DVD player as well. And here is the bathroom. It's not a bad kitchen, it's pretty clean. Mm -hmm. And you came here to learn? In yeah, I came here to study an exchange program to this university. I, uh, like we spent here uh, three months. Comme le directeur de l'école de langue à Delhi a souligné, Delhi est une ville fascinante, mais il faut venir avec l'esprit ouvert, ouvert à l'aventure, à la découverte, à la tolérance et à la connaissance d'une culture millénaire. À peine à quelques kilomètres de l'école, nous trouvons les ruines d'une ancienne université datant du XIIIe siècle. Actuellement, les étudiants du sud de Delhi viennent se promener dans les parcs qui entourent les anciennes bâtisses. 